The greatest stage in all of stock car auto racing has been the epitome of tension, heartbreak, and victory, forcing drivers to put everything on the line for their shot at eternal glory. Today, 13 of the world's best face their greatest challenge yet at the... Uh, forget it. Welcome back to the NASCAR Nano Speed Cup Series here today at the Darlington Raceway. Getting ready for the coveted throwback race of the season, though just about every race is a throwback race for this series. And this track is very difficult as turns 1 and 2 are a lot wider and a lot faster than turns 3 and 4, giving the track an almost egg-like shape. Very fast, very slick, and not a lot of chances to pass should make for a very interesting day. Let's take a look at your starting lineup. On the pole is Jeff Gordon, and to his outside is Kyle Busch. Got a lot of drivers starting towards the front that could use a good run today and a win to help them get into the playoffs. And starting towards the back, you got the blockade of Jimmy Johnson, Carl Edwards, and Tony Stewart that are keeping some of these drivers that are lower in the points from getting to the playoffs. We'll see how things shake out today. Now let's invite a special guest down trackside to give the command. Drivers, start your engines. Thank you to the real best NASCAR content creator, What Incarnation, for that command. Now as the engines have been fired, the cars are going to roll off the pit road, and as they do that, we're going to take a quick look at the history of the Nano Speed Cup Series. It is the throwback race, so true to form, let's take a trip through time, all the way back to 2013 when the series first began. A bored sixth grade me sat in his room filming cars going in circles. I only made four of these races, but cut to two years later, I would reboot the series in 2015, and it was by far the most popular rendition, probably the reason you're watching this video today. After a while, I got kind of bored with it, so I decided to stop until 2020 when COVID happened and I got bored, so I decided to make a reenactment video for ACS's contest. I liked it so much that I decided to do more. And now we're here in the 2020 Nano Speed Cup Series. Now let's make some more history today as Jeff Gordon leads us to the green flag. Through turns one and two, he has an edge over the 18 of Kyle Busch on the inside lane. They're moving really, really quickly around turns three and four. You'd think they just went to Daytona last week. The outside lane is the preferred line to go, but you can use the inside lane through the corners, but it doesn't look like Jeff Gordon has any need for them as he almost clears the 18 down the back and it looks like he will down the front straightaway. Only three more laps to go in the stage and it seems like Jeff Gordon has it in the palm of his hand as Kyle Busch continues to try and use that inside lane, but it is just not enough to beat the 24 of Jeff Gordon. Now we look at third place right now between Greg Biffle and Matt Kenseth. Those are two teammates still fighting for playoff contention. Neither of them have won a race so far this season, so neither of them are locked in. Jeff Gordon continues to lead, trying to stretch that lead, as a matter of fact. But now the battle continues for third. Who's going to get that last stage point? Greg Biffle with a run down the back. Oh, Kenseth slides sideways, and Jeff Gordon's going to hang on and win the stage. Jeff Gordon is 5 for 5 for the lap so far here at Darlington. Now let's take a look at a replay of that third place battle. Kenseth tried to go to the inside, went down on the apron and slid sideways, put him back in fourth. He's going to miss out on some stage points here. Greg Biffle got that last stage point, especially for where he is in the points. That could be crucial. Mid-race pit stops begin as Jeff Gordon leads him down. A poor performance here on pit road could mean the difference between victory and defeat because it is so hard to make passes. As the cars come off, Kyle Busch is going to lose three spots on pit road. Very poor performance, and the crowd is loving it. Kyle Busch is going to have to restart fifth on the inside lane, and Jeff Gordon's going to lead us down with 10 more laps to go. Really strong restart for the 24 car. He's going to clear the 16 almost instantaneously. The 16 falls back. It looks like he's just serving as a blockade, not really able to keep pace with the 24. Matt Kenseth on his back bumper right now. Through turns one and two, Jeff Gordon trying to set sail right now. Everybody just two by two heading all the way back through the field. And Danica Patrick fighting on the inside. Oh, look at Matt Kenseth. He's going to push the 16 out of the way and go for second. I don't know what kind of adjustments they made to that 17 car under pit stops, but it is tuned up on the outside lane trying to get around the 16 car. It looks like he'll do just that. Down the front straightaway, he's now going to try and chase down the leader. Gordon to the inside, Kenza to the outside. Both cars have a good run through turns one and two. It's going to be a heck of a battle to the finish. Still making their way around. The 17 tries the inside lane, and now Kyle Busch just in a swarm of Stuart Haas cars right now trying to get around them. He's going to use that inside lane and go for fourth and maybe chase down Greg Biffle. And oh, we have trouble in the back. Casey Kane into the outside wall. Caution is out. I didn't even see any tire smoke come from the five car. What a peculiar wreck. Let's take a look at the replay right here as they were heading down the back straightaway. Looks like Junior got all over his bumper and just turned him into the wall. Maybe got tired of following him. Going to be an interesting Monday meeting for Hendrick Motorsports as Casey Kane gets towed away and Logano will be able to continue. Getting ready for a restart with only five more laps to go and the two best cars of the race are on the front row. Jeff Gordon and Matt Kenseth lead us down. Green flag is back out and away and they are even through turns one and two. 
It's interesting because they are running the lines that they haven't been running all day. Kenseth on the bottom and Gordon up top. This should be an interesting finish. Four more laps to go. Jeff Gordon has the edge, but Matt Kenseth fights back on the bottom. Door to door down the back straightaway here at Darlington. Kyle Busch waiting in the wings right now, hoping for one of them to screw up, and that might just be what it comes down to. Both drivers not giving an inch right now. Kenseth with the edge on the bottom. Down the back straightaway, it looks like that 17 car might be just a tick better through turns three and four. Gordon on the outside, he's going to push him down the racetrack, and that's going to screw up his momentum. Matt Kenseth to the lead here at Darlington. Jeff Gordon hasn't had to make a pass all day, but he's going to have to now if he wants to win this race. White flag is out, one more to go. Kenseth with the lead, Gordon's going to look to the inside, he slides it sideways, saves it, but falls to third. Does Kyle Busch have anything for that 17 car? No, he does not. Matt Kenseth is going to win at Darlington. A spot in the playoffs and a win goes to Matt Kenseth here today. What a great finish. Let's take a look at this fateful final lap as Jeff Gordon slides sideways. Ironically made the same mistake that Kenseth made earlier in the race, but Kenseth will benefit as he takes the victory in race number four. Time to look at the finishing results. Despite not winning today, Jeff Gordon, Kyle Busch, and Greg Biffle benefit heavily from today's race. And drivers like Joey Logano, Casey Kane, Denny Hamlin, they have their work cut out for them next week at Richmond. The Best Buy Ford does its celebration on the front straightaway. He is now Richmond proof. As he is locked into the playoffs, getting ready for the regular season finale next week. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has a massive points lead right now. Drivers like Logano, Hamlin, and Newman, they are all tied in points. They're going to need a strong performance. Matt Kenseth celebrates in victory lane as your winner. We will see you next week for the regular season finale of the NASCAR Nano Speed Cup Series. We hope you enjoyed today's race. And until next time, thank you for watching. Should I throw a red flag for this? We're only on lap. We're not even through the first lap. I don't know if this is a problem. Maybe they can work their way around her. shoved the 88 car on the outside lane. They're going to go to the lead, the first lead change we've had from the outside lane all day. Now the 48 and the 5 are going to line up behind him, but the 88 and the 14...